Hey everyone, a uh, quick unplanned video this. It's actually something that I've already done uh, on a previous video, but I'll be delisting it when I upload this one. Now, if, like me, you have several pieces of hardware and you want them to all be synced up uh, and play in time together with Reason, the issue that you run into is that Reason only allows one MIDI clock destination. And uh, that's obviously not ideal, but there is a way around this on Windows at least. I haven't found equivalent programs yet for Mac because I don't do recording on Mac at the moment. So if you do know of anything that works the same way as what I'm about to show you, then uh, feel free to leave it in the comments. Uh, it's pretty simple to set up. Uh, you're gonna need two free pieces of software. The first is Loop MIDI, and the second is MIDI OX, which is this wonderful looking piece of software in the back. Uh, now setup wise, um, you can basically type a name in here, so we just call this like test MIDI port, and then press the plus. That MIDI port is then available to send things to or receive things from uh, in any recording software. So what I've done here is I've made, this one here is called two devices, um, and this will be the singular MIDI port that Reason sends uh, its MIDI sync to. And then I've also made these ones here called VDM, VMF, so it's DeepMind, uh, Microfreak, Minifreak, etc. Um, and then these will be where the sequence MIDI data goes to. Then in MIDI OX, uh, if you click this button up here called Select MIDI Devices to Open, this is going to allow you to choose which inputs and outputs are visible for routing. So under Inputs, you only want the virtual ports that we made. You see I've got two devices, vMini, vDM, etc. And then under MIDI Outputs, you only want the real physical USB connection. So let's go in straight to the TR, the Microfeek, DeepMind, etc. And then the last thing you need to do is click this little Route 66 button to open MIDI routing. And you'll see that the two devices port, so this is where the MIDI sync uh, or MIDI clock is gonna go, is branching out to all of the real physical USB inputs. And then the virtual ones that I made are just basically connected up one-to-one. -one. So vMini is going to MiniFreak, vMF is going to MicroFreak and so on, just one-to-one -one connections. Uh, but with this two devices, one kind of spidering out to all of them. Uh, then from in reason, you basically just want to make sure that send clock is enabled down here and in options and, or sorry, edit and preferences. If you go to sync, just make sure that the output is set to two devices. And that is basically it. So if we take a look at the uh, gear cam and I'm going to press play on the transport, check out what happens with these two. Uh, can't see this one too well because of the contrast, but these are both playing in time. The arpeggiators and sequences and everything on the Microfreak, Minifreak, these are all in time. LFOs, everything are all nicely in sync. So then if you want to send uh, sequencer data to the instruments directly and play them from the keyboard or from players within reason, you just want to make sure that the output here is not set to these direct ones, but to the, the virtual ones. Uh, the issue that I had with the... Um, previous video that I did on this was that some of them you could send it to, uh, but some were seen as being like in use by MIDI OX. So you could send clock, but not notes or notes, but not clock. This way you get both. You get to send MIDI sync to everything and you can also sequence directly uh, from here. Um, and that is pretty much it. It's uh, not very difficult to set up. As I say, the, the programs are free. And if you do find something equivalent to that for Mac, uh, obviously feel free to just leave that in the comments. I'll do a separate video just talking about workflow in terms of you know how I set up audio tracks, um, printing things to audio, reusing different synths for different parts and stuff. But I think that's for a, a, a more planned out video. Uh, but for now, I hope this helps somebody. Um, and I will catch you in the next video. Uh, and also the next stream that I do, twitch.tv forward slash chimpsbanner. Uh, lots of production streams and stuff going on there. So hope this was useful and I'll catch you next time.